Well, if Michael Schumacher's feeling nervous, how is Karen Chandock feeling right now, having never turned a wheel in his Hispania racing car? We believe you're preparing to go out and qualify. Is that the case? Well, I've been prepared since uh, for the last two months, really, but... You have worn these overalls all weekend without getting in, in and out of them. I know how to change in and out of them quicker than anyone else, I think, um, but... It's, yeah, it's a real nightmare. We got in this morning, engine fired up, went for first gear and lost hydraulic pressure. And you know, the boys checked it last night again this morning and it's just bizarre. The, the luck we're having with hydraulics this weekend is, uh, but you know, as Eddie would know, doing a shakedown in public is, you know, this is a shakedown. If you were at the Silverstone Stowe Circuit, this is what you'd expect. Unfortunately, we're doing it in front of millions of people and it's, uh, it's not ideal, but these are the cards we're dealt with. Either we play the cards or we walk away. Okay, so you are going to go out. You are going to attempt to qualify. Ready, I <laughs> How do you feel? You know, we've talked about the quality on the grid out there. Are you, are you nervous? Are you excited? This is not, it's not the dream arrival in Formula 1 you were hoping for, I guess. No, absolutely not. But, you know, to be honest, in some ways the pressure is less because there's no expectation. We're just going out there to, to just get five, six laps under our belt. I mean, David would know just to check the seat. I don't even, you know, there's always things you need to tweak with the seat and with the position. I haven't even done any of that. So, if anything, this is just to, to get some laps under my belt and make sure... You know, the, the body works not burning and just, just installation labs, really. Well, you seem amazingly calm given the situation that you're in, but presumably, as you say, you're just going out there now to do an open test session and, yeah. and try and build experience for the next Grand Prix. Yeah, I don't want to get in anyone's way. There's a lot of, there's a high pressure game up going on at that end of the pit lane. We understand. We, you know, we don't want to upset anybody. Uh, you know, we'll try and stay away from the last seven, eight minutes of session so that we're not, you know, getting in anyone's way because. Like I said, we just want to get some minds under our belt and get on the grid tomorrow. Well, Karen, I know how frustrating it's been for you this weekend, so we'll let you go and prepare to get in the car. But good luck, and we, we hope to see you out on track. Poor guy, really difficult first weekend in Formula 1 for him. I would not want to swap places with him for all the money in the world. But uh, while it's stories like this and hard luck stories like this, and you can see the amount of work going on on the car at the moment for the guys at the back, what about the packed-out midfield? It's also pretty hard in there as well.